Yo, so we back in here for another edition of your mother And I meant to do this when it came It broke yesterday It says Jay-Z's luxury weed company has reportedly lost $500 million Since it launched, launched in 2020 Struggling to sell $50 joints Well, that's where he fucked up right there, Jigga $50 joints, I could see if it was $50 blunts But I kind of know what the hell his angle was Right? He's stuck in the 80s or the 90s or the early 2000s uh, whether he was or wasn't a drug dealer There hasn't been anybody reputable To refute that or disprove it So we're just going to keep rocking along The uh, reason he lost be, lost or uh, His company lost so much money Is because most people White, black, and or other They didn't caught up Which is why I stopped selling weed nine years ago I ain't got time to be haggling with you over prices Last time I sold weed I think I was selling what OG Kush or oh I forgot <laughs> could have been Bubble Kush OG Kush Granddaddy Kush I don't know um it was some fire though you know what I'm saying I, and I was selling blunts for the Dove Five so now I will say my clientele consists of soccer moms and nerdy ass construction white boys and I was I basically was poaching off white people most white people not all don't know the prices of weed they come to you like hey dude how much is for a half ounce i make up a price now i know what the ounce half ounce going for it cost me 150 i could i could charge you 75 but last time i sold weed i had a firm white customer and he used to buy a half ounce for 175 dollars meaning he paid for the ounce and he only got half and i used to tell people all the time I don't sell weed. I hustle. This is a hustle. Whatever you, if you're working at a disadvantage, meaning you don't know the prices and quantities of said marijuana, you get took. And I wasn't re really too worried about my clientele trying to double back. Now, I ain't gonna say I didn't try that with black folks. I actually did. For the people that thought my prices was too high, fuck them. Had a nigga tell me, I'm trying to help you out. Nigga, this isn't a charity. And honestly speaking, when I turned 30, I stopped selling weed to black people. Because there's only so much blood you can squeeze from a turned up. Meaning, most niggas is broke or living check to check or hustling and scuffling and scraping. They're lit, get by. Wasn't going to get no money from you. White people is where it's at. Per capita. I would sell weed to Asians, but ain't none in Georgia. <laughs> Not too many. Uh, Mexicans down here They not like the Mexicans on the west coast These motherfuckers don't speak no English It's a communication barrier Too much I ain't got time for that <sighs> So Yeah I was just beating white folks And goofy niggas over the head I think I might have paid 150 an ounce I always got a quarter pound at a time That's 4 ounces 150 I was My return was 560 Give or take <laughs> Or I never made off with no $10 grams. I, I was making no $280. We, we, we was trying to see more than $130 profit. And a lot of people used to be like, oh, it's going to take you forever to sell that weed. I wouldn't give a fuck if it took me two months, two years. Now, it didn't take me no two years. It took me roughly about a month, 30 days to sell a QP. I was moving like, what, three QPs a month? By the end of the month, all three was flipped. Plus I had a job So I didn't really It didn't matter And I was just stacking the money Right From the weed sales My job money I paid bills Yeah Jay Z He's out the loop He probably thought he could sell $50 joints to High end clientele The problem with it is I didn't even know he had a weed line So Then there's that Um And you gotta know If a nigga didn't know he had a weed line White people with money Didn't know he had a weed line Either that or his marketing was just bad I don't know Maybe it was bad marketing Jigga man need to invest in some commercials Nigga do a rap video for your own shit I don't Niggas is stupid How you gonna be a rapper Could, could have made your own video To sell your shit online And you just stupid So Nobody got um, Sympathy for Jigga Or maybe Faison Love was right This nigga never sold drugs I don't know I did see this meme on Twitter where it said Whitney Houston was like, how are you an ex-drug dealer struggling to sell drugs? That's a good-ass question. In any event, if y'all like this episode, you know what to do, and I'm out. No.